Hey, I am Lina with Aptic Tutorials and today you're going to learn what your students are actually seeing when they enter into the microbit classroom. So stick around so you guys can learn how to do that and help your students out. Like always, don't forget to like this video, leave your comments and subscribe to our channel so you guys don't miss another video. Okay, so in the previous video, I described everything on how to create a classroom and everything for you guys. What we're covering today, we're going to cover what is your student going to see when you actually provide them with this link here. So let's say you have emailed your student this link and they have to click on the link. So they're going to enter. And the first thing they're going to see is this right here. Now you have to also have provided them the the specific keywords that are here. So it's a lime bear bicycle and sunglasses. So they have to put that there. Lime bear and give us bicycle and then sunglasses. And they also have to have the pin. So this is kind of a two factor authentication for the safety of the students so that not just anybody can join the classroom. So they're going to continue and they're going to be asked to enter a new name or find the current name. So let's say this student is a new student. So they're going to enter a new name and they're going to call him Bob and continue. So on your dashboard, now you should see your student, Bob. And if you notice, your student does not have the code that you provided. So go ahead and go back to your editor, do the chair with student and click on Bob. Because he's a new student, he does not have any of the code you provided. So go ahead and send Bob that code. And now Bob should have that code. He will be prompted to say, say yes to this code because you have sent him something. And now he has all the blocks that you provided the students before plus the instructions. And he can go ahead and continue working on that. And like I mentioned in my previous video, if you go to student code, you can check what they are doing here. You'll see their code. And the rest of the students will be offline, but that's just because maybe they're taking a nap. So let them know to wake up. And let's, and let's go ahead and join all the other students. And now as returning students, they will have to enter their name. So it's not going to give the person viewing the page the list of the names of the students. And I believe they do this for security purpose so that in case someone does happen to get your two-factor authentication, they don't know exactly the names of all the students in the class. So it is for safety purpose. That way the students don't know all the names or whoever's in there doesn't know all the names of your students. Let's say Lena is logging back in. And she wants to start her project with putting this stuff in there. So if you go to Lena, she has that. And as you can see, she's live now. So if you, you see the people that are live are in green. The little boxes are highlighted in green. And those that are off online are gray. But it'll also tell you that they're offline. This tool makes it very easy for students to join. And it is very important that as a teacher you stay your session stays active because if it doesn't, then they'll be logged off. And I'll show you how that works later. And that'll be another video for you for you to know how to, let's say you lose the internet. How do you get back to your classroom and how do you get back to your students? So let's say you're done for the day. Make sure you always save your classroom. Always do the download of that classroom and then end your session when you're done. So it is very important that you always save it and you can save it throughout the session while students are working to make sure you kind of have the latest in case something happens. And I'll show you guys how to do all that stuff later for another video. In this video, you learn what your student is actually going to see when they log in into their student classroom session. So it kind of gives you the perspective of the student. And as you can see, it's not very hard for them to log in. Because as long as you provide them with the URL and the 
items that are provided, the little characters and items, colors and stuff, plus the pin, they should be able to just go to the URL, put their first factor authentication, then their second factor authentication, which is the pin, and then go ahead and join your classroom. Now it's very, very, very important that your session stays active because your students will depend on your session being active so that they can do their work. Now I will talk more about this topic later in another video where I'm gonna show you kind of tips and tricks here and there for you to be able to help out your students navigate easily. And like always, please uh, leave us your comments. We wanna know what you wanna learn, what you wanna be teaching your students so that we can help you. And uh, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to follow us so that you don't miss other videos that we're going to be putting out. I am looking into many other technologies to teach people out there how to use them so that they can teach others. And you don't have to be a teacher to use this. You can use it as a person who wants to teach another group of people how to use the micro bit and just provides everybody the ability to go ahead and learn so thank you so much for joining us and uh, see you guys in the next one